Open your ears, I promise this will take a second. Put you on game, my brother, teach you valuable lesson. Respect yourself, we happy, no need to reminisce. No need to worry, you chilling with men with confidence. Speak your mind, say what's up with your life. We can teach you wrong for right and take the darkness out your life. So what's good? What's good? It ain't nothing but a small thing. Have a seat, you can talk to us about anything. Money's car, sports, or maybe your business. Positive goals in your life support better living. A pep talk to the ones who in the darkest hour. Remember, sunlight comes after a rain shower. There's nothing wrong with the man who takes notes. Don't take this as a joke. These words are well spoken. Teammates, cause we playing to win. I have a seat at the table with some men with confidence. And welcome to Men in Confidence Sharing, where we, the men of a certain age, share our thoughts, ideas, and opinions in confidence. And today we conclude our series of the 10 Men Commandments, 10 things that all men should know and follow. And today we're going to focus on the commandment, be responsible without excuses. But before we get into our topic, we're going to say hello to everyone, and we are joined with the full house i am the host tony and we are joined with sean with rhino and with terry so we're going to say hello to everyone hello sean hey everybody how y'all doing hello rhino hey what's up guys and hello terrence greetings and salutations all thank you fellas so we're we are here with be responsible without excuses and I think that both parts are equally weighted. Being responsible and not having excuses with it. So I'm just going to throw the question out to the field. And why is it important to be responsible without excuses? At the core of what being a man is, being responsible is like the foundation of it all. I mean, we could run around here willy-nilly and just do whatever whenever however with no regard for anybody without giving two f's as they say but is that really a i mean let me rephrase it it might be fun for a little bit but once you get to a point where you're looking for someone to kind of accept what you're doing and be on board with it and support it and encourage it and you know boost you up you can't go around doing whatever you want to without caring you're gonna have to be responsible and accountable for what you do then the second half of that conversation with uh no excuses Unfortunately, as men, we are brought up in this world that believe that no one cares what you think, no one cares how you feel, and you're going to have to just kind of grin and bear it, do what you need to do, because waiting for someone to save you, waiting for someone to bail you out, more than likely not is, go is not going to happen. So, yeah, be responsible, no excuses, get her done, or however you want to put it is what it is <laughs> i like that one it really is you you <laughs> you can't sit around and wait for someone to do it <laughs> you see the situation it it's gotta happen somebody's gotta make it happen and while you're sitting there thinking to myself that i have got to make this thing happen what you really need to do is just do it. You do it. What are you waiting? <laughs> Why would I wait for somebody else to come along to take care of my kids? I know they got to get up. I know they got to go to school. <laughs> I know they got to be in school at a certain time. They're my kids. It's my responsibility. I'm going to make it happen. To renege on your responsibility is a is a very serious issue especially if you're a father especially if you're a parent but just as a man whether you're a parent or not to be a man and to not take your responsibility and 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 do it 
there's something wrong with you. Either you're, either you're within yourself, you're giving up, or, or you you're just freezing up, or you you you're. I don't know. You just, how do you not take responsibility? It's just, it's, it's a necessity. It's, it's a part of what makes you, you. Um, and to take responsibility and to do it without excuse, it really takes you reaching down into your core and being who you are. There's nothing worse than, I, for myself, I hate excuses. I hate when I make excuses. I hate giving excuses. And a part of that comes from when I was in the Marine Corps and I had superiors who didn't want to hear a bunch of excuses. They only want results. And I despised when I had to come up with an excuse because there's no reason for it. Just get the job done. Just make it happen. It, it pushes you to ignore all the setbacks and to make something happen. Which is, I'm pretty sure is what their point was. But now, here I am in my regular life. I still carry this with me. I don't like excuses. I don't like making excuses. I don't like hearing excuses. Sometimes excuses are valid though. Sometimes, hey, look, I got shot in the leg. <laughs> I was in the hospital. Okay, fine. But you at least could have done this. <laughs> you could have called somebody else and got them on it, you know. Making excuses, it just, it sends, it sends this sense of, I can't do it out there. And you don't want to be that person. You want to be responsible. And you want to be responsible without excuses. You know, absolutely. And I, and I got to agree with you guys. And I definitely got to agree that, you know, not to be belittled, just because we're doing this particular one last about being responsible, it definitely doesn't make it the least of the ones that we're doing in the 10 Men Commandments. It's still at the core of the whole thing. You've heard me say on here, I think on a couple of them, if you haven't, go back and listen and subscribe. We got them on some other ones uh, that I've said that, you know, um, I can sympathize with the, you want to run. You don't want to be responsible. You want to um, run away from it, uh, not pay attention to it, whatever it is, whether we're talking about, uh, we usually do it related to taking care of kids and things like that. But whether it's taking care of kids, taking care of family, uh, just taking care of what you got to do. Um, you, the, the urge to run or to ignore it is strong at times. It's easier to do that it's easy to do nothing it it takes more effort and you can call it a badge better when you take on the responsibility when you live up to the responsibility it's easy to do nothing everybody's always heard heard that right you have to take it on and accept it and it's not and I, I'll, I'll agree i i will say it's not as easy as it may sound um but being responsible is definitely something you're supposed to do, take it on. And we say be responsible with no excuses. The second part is it's not everybody else's fault or somebody else didn't do it to you. Some things we've done to ourselves, you could say almost 90%. A lot of times when you look at your life in hindsight in 2020, you in, in 2020 vision, you can look and see, you know, I did a lot of that stuff to myself. It wasn't done to me. It was the choices that I made within that really wound up causing this or that or another thing. You know what I mean? Being responsible without the excuse and saying, you know what, I did that. I, I did that. And I can't go backwards and go forward. And part of that is accepting it, grabbing hold of it, taking responsibility for it, and then saying, okay, let me move forward. Let me take that as a learning lesson move forward not do that again and take responsibility for the next actions that i make without saying it's somebody else's fault trust me gentlemen i know it's not the easiest thing but it is a necessary thing to our manhood 
Thank you, fellas. I'll jump in as well. So, we've been talking about men commandments for a while, right? And I believe this may just be personal, personal, but I believe that this may be one of the most important ones. We've talked about different attributes of being a man. We've talked about different things to be careful of and to take care of and you know watch out for and things like that but when it comes to being responsible without excuses that is at its core what being a man is to stand on your own feet and stand up chest out accept your good your bad and don't blame anyone else for anything is to be your own man and be responsible. Accept, accept the accept the consequences of your actions. Accept, you know, where you are in life. Accept what you have. Accept what you don't have. Accept what you can do. Accept what you can't do. And learning how to do all of that without making excuses. And to look at the flip side of that. Like, if you look at the list that we've gone through, you know, it's a little bit negative to see a man that's not in control. It's kind of negative to see a man that's not confident or not loving or, or, or is lacking courage. But a man that doesn't have any responsibility and makes excuses, you don't want anything to do with that man. You can't take him anywhere. You can't build anything with him. You can't trust him. You can't use that person. And not use a negative sense, but that person it doesn't have any value because they're going to always put somebody else as the scapegoat and it's never going to be their fault. And to me, that's the, the opposite of that is the essence of being a man is being able to stand on your own feet without blaming anyone else okay so in listening to everything that everybody's saying i completely agree i don't think that we're off the mark or anything in that regard at all but what i did want to get out there was i think sometimes we misuse or mistake the word responsibility not responsibility the word excuses because rhino said something that got me thinking about this to begin with when we were talking about you know i got shot in the leg you know that's i wouldn't say that's an excuse not to complete the race that's more of a reason not to complete the race whereas in my mind let's say we're all four of us lined up to take to run this race and you know whoever's counting us down three two one go go goes off and the race is supposed to start if tony gets shot in the leg that's a reason tony didn't finish the race if sean catches a cramp that's a reason sean doesn't finish the race if i'm standing at the start line and i see the three of you take off really quickly and i just decide within myself well dang they just took off really quickly I can't catch up with them. That is an excuse. And I just want to kind of clarify the difference because there are some things happen. There are legitimate things that are going to happen in your life and it's going to be a reason for something else not to happen. But if you make a conscious decision based on a lack of confidence, a lack of you know belief a, a lack of faith a you know fear then that becomes more of the excuse and operating that from that place of fear and from those excuses you're never going to get to where you want to be and it lessens the value of the type of man you're going to be okay i want to respond to that i'm not disagreeing with anything you said but this is going to be a, a grouchy smurf moment. 
<laughs> oh no come on man thought we, we put, put him, him away. up <laughs> i thought we was just gonna let him out for one and then well he showed up twice just go Cause, put it cause, back because this kind of goes back to maybe a few other grouchy smurf moments okay so i understand that there are reasons right and they are not excuses here's the reality though the world don't want to hear your valid reasons <laughs> Whether, whether you got shot in the leg, whether it rained that day, or the white man held me down, <laughs> the, the world don't want to hear any of that. So unfortunately, like I'm not dis discrediting, uh, you know, valid reasons, but unfortunately, this is one of the things like. Let's, let's be honest with with the audience and with who's listening this is one of the things that as a man you're probably going to see you're probably not going to get a fair empathetic hearing of what happened right you're not going to get a chance to explain well you see if this would have went this way and that would have went that way then I would have been able to accomplish all that I set out to do now nah, you're not going to get a chance to explain all that all you can basically say is you know what I came up short I failed. I will put my best effort forward to be better next time. That's probably as good as you can do. Whether, you know, whether it was something in your control or something maybe not in your control. A lot of times the average person is not going to want to hear one or the other. Like it, it's going to all it's, it's going to all sound the same to them. And that's true, but isn't it about control? Isn't it about the things that you can control? You can you can only work within your scope of power and your scope of uh, control and management. But if you're depending on someone else, you're going to be disappointed. Unless that person is dependable and, and, and comes through, fine. But if they don't, or, or if you're waiting for some magic situation to happen, you're, you're taking a real gamble. I prefer to control those situations. I prefer to know that everything's going to be fine. Now, that, 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 doesn't, that doesn't work too good when it comes to Christianity. Uh, in Christianity, uh, you got to have faith. <laughs> uh, uh, God doesn't show people um, who don't have faith. You got to have faith first, and then you'll see. But um, in, in, in certain areas of my life where if I can control it, I want to control it. <laughs> I want to make sure that I have the proper amount of funds in the bank. I want to make sure that I my the oil was changed, the, the tires are the proper inflated um, 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 PSI you know I want to make sure that all the things that I can control are in the proper place but if something out of your control happens then it just is what it is <laughs> but at the end of the day it's about working within your scope of control so let me respond to that and one of the reasons why I think that you prefer to do things you know yourself is because you know your own level of responsibility right you know how responsible you are and you question the responsibility of the next person because you know why they might not be responsible they might have a whole bunch of excuses that they're going to throw at you instead of being a responsible person like that's why it's not just so important that you the individual be responsible we the collective need to be responsible without excuse or else we can't depend on each other that's true I, I feel also compelled to say some of what for, we're talking about for me trends towards mindset as well you know I understand that you're you know coming from a place of grumpy smurf and everything like that and you know if you're gonna play the role of grumpy smurf 
I'm going to create my own Smurf because that's what I do. I do my own thing. I I'm going to create one called Naive Smurf a little bit. And Naive Smurf in me is one who wants to think about things from a place of positivity and a place of, I don't want to say tr absolute blind faith and trust, but just kind of casually like, nah, people are at least try to hear and I know realistically that's not really the case but the naive, naive smurf is going to say try to give some people a benefit of the doubt try to have some hope for grace and you know forgiveness and like accepting of things think about things from a place of optimism if something were to happen and there was a legitimate reason as to why hold out the hope and kind of expect that given the circumstances you may be offered an opportunity to present your valid reason and with it being a valid reason it's heard and accepted and respected versus psh, whatever sorry that's all just kind of want to put like that balance out that I like that because yeah, I, I, like I, I, I want to respond to that. And I'm glad you said that. Oh, because to there's something to be said about responsibility. There's something more to be said about it. Take a responsibility for your failure. When you fail, there's something about saying, you know what? It was my fault. My calculations was off. I accept responsibility for that. There's something to be said about that. No excuses. No making excuses. No, well, if this happened, if that happened. No, I'm taking responsibility for my failure. And I'm going to take steps to better myself and to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Because that's also a part of being responsible without excuses. Just get move the excuses out of the way. Get brush the dust off and look at it. I failed. And trust me, you will fail. But we don't fall into the mud and stay in the mud. No, we get up, we clean ourselves off, and then we watch where we step next time. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. Sean, you look like you're hungry for the mic. Uh, well, so I, I'm going to piggyback off what you just said. That I was thinking that um, on the responsibility part, the part of uh, I'll respond to that first and say that, you know, you don't have to stay there just because we're talking about taking responsibility or and the no excuses part you know doesn't mean that okay when i said this is my fault that's what i was talking about with you know the next measure of a man is how you keep getting up to fix it doesn't matter about the fails it's how you keep getting you pulling yourself back up each time yo i did this is the 15th time but you know what i still ain't down you know, you could take some some uh, some cues from Captain America. Stay down, son. No, never. I'm getting back up. I'm trying this fight again. Eventually, I'm gonna make it break. You know what I mean? I, yes, my fault. Got you. My L. I take it. And now I'm gonna try for another W. Um, to respond to why I was trying to double dutch in. Because <laughs> I wanted to respond to Grumpy Smurf Tony. <laughs> I, I'm not still I, grumpy, by the way. But yeah, keep going. I, I saw that you changed it off, but you still set off the you set off the bomb with the grumpiness. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> no, but I am. I, I love Terrence's example because I am the type that you know. And and I was thinking as as Terrence was talking, I was like, I felt like and. Uh, Rhino said something about it too, like it's the external forces, you know, versus the internal forces. Those internal moves that we make, those internal decisions that we make, if it was from an internal place, you know, I just gave up, you know, I, I didn't finish the deadline, I was sleepy, I was whatever. Those are a lot of times the, the, the L's. Now, those external, to use, to go back to Terrence's example, I got shot in the leg before the race started. Tony saying I should still come up to the finish line and take that L for people. <laughs> nah, I'm a scream about that. I got shot in the leg. <laughs> That's why I didn't make it. You can call that an excuse all you want to. I got shot. 
<laughs> I didn't get a chance to try to make that across. You really, is that what we're gonna do? Okay, if we're gonna do that, then we'll do that all day. I'm gonna fight with you about an external, I didn't have anything to do with it, or I didn't, you know, security. I'm gonna defend. Yeah. Security, mm -hmm. security. Right, you talk about some security. <laughs> I'm just telling. Yeah, you're right. That's what. That's exactly what we're gonna get to. <laughs> that's exactly what's got to happen. If you know what I mean. Yeah, you're right. That's most likely what's gonna also happen. But that's what I'm gonna be flipping out on. I ain't gonna tell you no lie. Yes, I could have take that L humbly, but not an external. You did something to me. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let everybody else know. I I lost, but it's not mine. <laughs> that one's not mine. But those of them that are yours. Don't make it everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Do take your L's as you have to. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it there. So <laughs> something that's been rattling around in my head as we're talking about taking, you know, responsibility for failures, mistakes, or whatever, you know, we've already acknowledged that it's going to happen. So once you see that it's happening and it's okay to even feel some shame associated with it. Getting past that, the more important thing is, what have you learned from it? Because I've heard this phrase, I don't take losses. I have, I either win or I learn. What do you learn? And then to take it a step further, okay, you've learned something, what have you going how are you going to apply that moving forward that's like the complete package i messed up i'm owning i messed up i learned this this and this from that mistake moving forward i'm going to do this this and this to keep this from happening again and that's like the complete process and understanding walking in living in that process that's like top level manhood at that point so that's right our failures are just as much as a stepping block in our path as our successes our failures help shape and make us yes i failed and now i'm a better man for it i don't let my failures define me but I use them to step up higher. I, you, you talk to anyone who's successful, Elon Musk, uh, uh, I, I almost said Jesse Jackson, but I'm thinking Jesse Jeff Ventura. Jeff Bezos. Jesse, no, Jesse would probably no, qualify. Jesse Ventura. <laughs> he went from wrestler to actor to governor to you know um, producing his own um, TV show. Um, that there's a guy that's had a lot of failures in his life, but he didn't let them stop him. You know, and 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 you think about anybody. Uh, Kamala Harris is our first female vice president of the United States of America, and she is a woman of color. How she got there? Look at her failures. Look at all the the, the defeats she'd had. Until she got her win, and then she got her next win, and then she got her next win. You talk to anyone that's ever had any high position in anything. You know, Usain Bolt. Guess what? Dude, someone was faster than him at one point. <laughs> there was somebody faster than him at one point. If you, if you he can kept imagine that day. Until, guess what? All of those fast people are fast behind him. <laughs> so, yes, you will have failures. Don't dwell on them. Don't don't let them defeat you. Don't let them keep you down. Use them to climb up. Nah, buddy, you just my next step. I'm stepping up. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm stepping up over you, and I'm moving forward. Okay, so I, I think I'll just try to wrap this up. So things that I've heard. Number one, own your shizzle. Yeah. Good and bad. <laughs> that's, that's right. That's own your way to put it. Own, own it. your shizzle. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Own shizzle. I'm not gonna do it again, but I did it. I done it. Good and bad. 
don't make excuses. But if it's something that you cannot control, don't be afraid to speak up about it. But don't get security called on you either. You know, try to try to stay out of jail. <laughs> no promises. No promises. <laughs> learn from your mistakes. Have them. Learn from them. Apply those lessons. Get better. But I feel like it's all summed up in the title be responsible without excuses well fellas this has been a very good series we got to do something like this again but before we wrap it up anybody got anything they want to add Nobody? Okay. I can't think of anything else to add man I think we yeah, have pretty much good. covered all of our bases here. And yeah, I kind of think we nailed it. All right. And if we didn't, please support us in the comments. You tell us what we didn't hit on. Yeah, we're, we're going to stand with responsibility and not make an excuse that we didn't nail it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we'll take responsibility for that. Now. <laughs> now, if you tell us later that we didn't nail it, then we will accept that defeat and yeah, learn so from it. Say it. And move on. And move <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And apply it. Well, with now that, that doesn't mean we gonna do a whole nother 10 but you know yeah we, we might do 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes right uh, uh, expert <laughs> but on that note I'm gonna pass it to Terrence for the closing as always you know it's been a pleasure but we've come to that time Thank y'all for listening. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Good night. Deuces. Peace out. Bye, everybody. everybody. Peace. Y'all have a good one.